Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today we are going to learn about oligopoly. This is our microeconomics topic. So let's start with this. What is oligopoly? Oligopoly is derived from Greek words oligo means few and polo means to sell. Means market dominated by few large firms means competition amongst the few. So this will be the oligopoly. Now what are the types of oligopoly? Pure oligopoly, impure oligopoly. Now what is a pure oligopoly? When we have identical or homogeneous products. And what is impure oligopoly? When we have differentiated products. So this will be impure. Now what are the characteristics? of oligopoly market very few sellers are there in the market homogeneous or differentiated products are uh, in the market imperfect knowledge the company has then high barriers to entry not every person can be the supplier of the product you can take the example of oil exporting countries so all the oil producing countries they have oil as a natural resource this is why a, a country where there is no natural resource like oil they can't be the suppliers of oil so this is why there are barriers to entry then mutual dependence not a single firm can uh, do the work by itself but they are going to depend upon each other then we have non-price competition uh, that means there might be a brand war so these are the characteristics of oligopoly market okay then we can convert oligopolies into competition monopolies and cartels now what are these the geopolist may agree on a monopoly outcome resulting collision so they may collide they may work together they may uh, form a collision then the two firms may agree on the quantity to produce and the price to charge forming cartel so they might agree that yeah okay we are going to work together in terms of uh, the production uh, bringing into the market or in terms of charging price prices or we can avail our technological resources so they may form cartels then there could be the two firms may join together and act in unison means they might unite and they might work together so these are the three types of uh, monopolies and cartels made by oligopolist so then what is the summary of uh, equilibrium how can we obtain equilibrium of an oligopoly the first one is the possible outcome if oligopoly firm pursue their own self-interest now you are working in a group but definitely you will give more importance to your self-interest then joint output is greater than monopoly but less than competitive industry output means quantities it means that if a single firm is working the quantities will be definitely low and if there is huge competition the quantities produced into the market will be very high but in oligopoly neither you have very low quantity supplied nor you have very high quantity supplied so you are in between monopoly and perfect competition so then market prices are lower than monopoly price but greater than competitive price so you know you remember that in competitive price uh, what uh, the prices are the companies are price takers but in monopoly you are a price maker but here you can enjoy more than monopoly but less than the competitive prices the total profits are less than the monopoly profit means overall the profits you may enjoy are greater than the profits by the monopoly now how the size of an oligopoly affects the market outcome so let's see the output effect because price is above marginal cost selling more at the going price raises profits so the output effect you can better understand if you go to my lecture monopolistic competition so there i have explained it very well so you can uh, get to know from there then the price effect means uh, if a pr new product comes into the market initially its price is very high but gradually with the passage of time because we will bring more products into the market so its prices will be falling down this is why we'll have price effect so then this is all and this was all about my today's lecture if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you